Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are live here from Feltrim Sports Complex at Haynes City, Florida, where a friendly match in between Lakeland United and Tiki Taka College Prep is about to begin. On the left side of your screen, wearing black today, we'll have Tiki Taka. And on the right side of your screen, still talking with their coach, Eric Leite, is Lakeland United. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to begin in a good friendly competition in between these teams. Lakeland United, a team that has won three times the United Premier Soccer League Florida West Conference, will be facing Tiki Taka College Prep, a great program for players looking to enter college. And today will be an interesting match to see both of these teams and how they are preparing themselves for the following season. It seems like we're ready to begin. It seems like we didn't even have time for an introduction. Thank you so much to everyone who's tuning in live at Legolands United YouTube channel. Thank you for being there. Please feel free to leave your message, your support for your friends, for your team, for your family, just like Nicolas Odar and Charles Karin are doing. Nicolas Odar, uh, Tiki Taka College Prep player. And so we don't even have time to properly say the teams of Legoland and Tiki Taka. Let's go a little bit quickly, if we can. For Lakeland, we have Vittorio Di Carlo, Bernardo Gavner, Breno Ferreira, Pedro Brito, Gabriel Wemura, Luis Felipe Mello, Yuto Tanaka, Thomas Whale, Daniel Macedo, Luis Guevara, and Moises Jimenez. Those will be the 11 players from Eric Leite. Meanwhile, Tiki Taka College Prep will have the following players. Federico Huitrago, Jake Hotha, Corner Dylan, Jaden Torres, Adel Samar, Luis Pablo Chavez, Jack Nicolosi, Santiago, Erwin Navarro and Ethan Solonier. Those will be the players from Tiki Taka in the match that is just about to begin as soon as the captains finish up deciding who will be in charge of the kickoff for the first half. So if you're just tuning in, you haven't you haven't lost anything. We're just about to begin. Luis Guevara will be the player in charge of the kickoff for the start of this friendly match and will be beginning. Lakeland United will be attacking towards the left side of your screen, Tiki Taka towards the right side. And so, with everyone in their places, the ref checks his watch, makes sure everything's in order, corroborates with his assistants. And now, without further ado, he blows his whistle and we are on Lakeland United against Tiki Taka College Prep. Friendly match before the start of the season. Legland United in possession of the ball. A good moment for the head coach, Eddie Leite, to see how his boys, how his team is starting to build up for what's surely going to be an interesting season. In charge of the ball, number three, Bruno Ferreira going forward with Yuto Tanaka. Legland going forward towards the left. The pass was almost intervened, and here comes Daniel Macedo at full speed over the left. Macedo goes into the box. Unfortunately, his control was not good. That's why it left the field. And it's going to be a goal kick at the very start of the match for Federico Widrago for Tiki Taka College Prep. Like we were saying, Legland has been playing a series of friendly matches, eight games so far. One of them against Inter Miami under 19. And still has seven more games to go before their debut 
on April the 27th against Naples City. Here come the Swans over the right side. It was a good attempt. The ball's still in the field. Here comes the cross, and it's going to be a corner kick. It's a good start for Lakeland, cornering Tiki Taka in their own box. And there goes number 23, Thomas Ware, in charge of the corner kick. Pedro Brito, number 57, number 44, Daniel Macedo, getting ready to search and find his ball to reach the header that puts Lakeland on top at the beginning of the match. And here comes the cross. It's a good header. And here comes the volley. It was blocked. It's a good pressure by Tiki Taka now, recovering the ball. In the end, it goes for Lakeland again. Tanaka going backwards. Once again, Utah with Thomas Weir. The pressure by number 23 going forward. The ref stopping the game. This will be a ball for the Swans. This will be a ball for Lakeland after a handball. They already played it. The shot. It was it was a terrible shot from Lakeland at the start of the game. And it's going to be another goal kick for Federico and for Tiki Taka as we're just beginning this friendly match. And we, like we were saying, Lakeland United, as always, prepping themselves, trying to win the crown once again of the Florida West Conference of the United Premier Soccer League. Last season, they lost in the semifinals. And now they are looking to win back their crown. That's why they are prepping themselves so much, testing new players. Tiki Taka on one of their first incursions on the offensive. They lost the ball. It's a recovery for Lakeland. In the midfield, number 14, Yuto Tanaka. Going over the left now. Here comes Breno Ferreira. Once again towards the center. Now over the right side. Bernardo. The ball left the field. It was a good pressure from Tiki Taka. Recovering the ball. Three minutes, 30 seconds, still no goals. Both teams testing each other. The ball left the field. Now the ref says it's a throw in for Lakeland. Clever recovery by Gabriel Wemura. Number 13. Plays in short with Jimenez. Yuto Tanaka. Good control. And good dribbling. Passing back the ball to Breno Ferreira. Breno in short with Yuto. Tanaka attempt to go forward did not work out. Right now, Tiki Taka has the ball. Lakeland tries to recover it with their pressure. Federico. He decides to go over the right side. Here comes Jake Hotka. Jake going back with a center back. Good pressure by Lakeland, but still they do not have the ball. It finally leaves the field and it's a throw in for Jake and for Tiki Taka. The header by Lakeland, it's a good attempt here by Daniel Macedo, going back towards the center. And in the end, it was a good defense by Tiki Taka. The rebound recovered by Lakeland. And after that, another ball for Tiki Taka. In the midfield, Tiki Taka advances, going over the left side. Wemuda trying to stop them. And now it's Pedro Brito's job. Good work by Pedro, who plays with Vittorio Di Carlo. The Italian goalkeeper in one of his first interventions of the match with a bad pass, unfortunately. Throw in for Tiki Taka. Only five minutes and it's an even game so far. Attempted to play in short. Good work right there by Thomas Weir. And number 13, Gabriel Wemura, stopping the players from Tiki Taka. From making a cross. Once again, a throw in for the away team it is. Playing towards the box, attempting to shoot. They're asking for a corner kick. The ref says it's gonna be in the end. A ball for Tiki Taka. An interesting opportunity, an interesting situation. So far, we haven't had any clear opportunities, any clear shots. And here comes the cross towards the center of the box. 
nobody was able to reach for the ball and it's going to be a throw in for Lakeland in a defensive position. Breno Ferreira, number three, going with Bernardo. Long pass from Bernardo, the header in the midfield, and the recovery by Tanaka. Utah plays with number 24, Luis Guevara. Luis towards the center. Good recovery by Tiki Taka right here. Let's see what they can do. Good passes going over the right side. The attempt. The ball is recovered by Lakeland. Good drop right there by number 34, Bernardo Gerner. And it's a throw in for the Swans. They already played it. Going back with Breno Ferreira. Breno is being pressured. Good pass towards Tanaka. That's a foul against number 14, and it's going to be a free kick for Lakeland. Bernardo Garner back to Vittorio Di Carlo. Vittorio going with Gabriel Wemura. Once again, Ferreira. Bernardo in short with Tanaka. Bernardo attempted to go forward. Good recovery by Tiki Taka. The pass going towards the striker. Be careful, the ball right now. Is at a loss? That's why Gabriel Wemura, against the pressure from the player from Tiki Taka, had to send the ball out of the field. Throw in for Lakeland. Throw in for Tiki Taka. Eight minutes of the first half. It was recovered by Lakeland. Now Tiki Taka going forward, that's a foul. And yes, the ref gives a free kick to Tiki Taka from an interesting position. Here comes the free kick, looking for somebody to deflect the ball. They were asking for a penalty, and in the end, it's just another ball for Lakeland. So far, we haven't seen much action in between Lakeland and Tiki Taka. Right now, we're at a stalemate in which neither team is making breakthroughs. Breno Ferreira. Over the left with Bernardo once again. Looking for Utah over in the midfield. And here comes number 44, Macedo. Utah. Utah plays. And loses the ball. Jake. Hodka attempting to go with Erwin Navarro, who plays back. Here comes Dylan. Playing back with the goalkeeper, Federico. Once again, Dylan. Corner. And they attempted to reach Jake over the right side. It was not a good pass. Legland recovers it with a throw in. Bernardo Gerner already made it. Right there in the midfield, number 39, Luis Felipe Mello. Playing it back with Pedro Brito. Wemura, Gabriel. Gabriel goes through, but loses the ball. Ferreira with Bernardo. Garner plays in short with Macedo. Back to Bernardo. The ball left the field, says the ref. Tiki Taka with Jake Hotka. Have a throw in. Right near the midfield. The header by Navarro. And another throw in for Tiki Taka it is. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for being on the other side of this broadcast. This friendly match between Lakeland and Tiki Taka over at the YouTube channel of Lakeland United.
Here comes Tiki Taka with the cross. Good control. Attempting to find the spot to shoot. Good blockage by Legland. Still, Tiki Taka is looking for the ball, trying to finish the play. The ball leaves the field, and it's Legland who's back in control of the ball with a throw in. That's a foul in the midfield for Tiki Taka, and it's going to be a free kick for them, for the team wearing black today. Something important to note, ladies and gentlemen, this friendly match, as it's not regulated, will have four times of 30 minutes. Here comes Jake Hodka with the ball. Shake towards the center. It's a good spot for Tiki Taka to advance. The ball is recovered by Breno Ferreira. Breno plays win number 44, Macedo. The ref decides to go back, and it's going to be a free kick that Breno Ferreira is going to play. Gabriel Felipe saying Bamo on the YouTube channel of Legland. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to leave a message, feel free to do it. We'll read it live. Pedro Brito going forward, playing with Breno Ferreira. Bernard is wide open on the left. Ferreira decided to play towards the center, and here they come. The opportunity, Luis Felipe Mello with a long pass. The goalkeeper, Federico, comes out and touches the ball, sends it to the corner kick. Once again, a corner kick for Legland it is. Gabriel Felipe once again, and Ryan... K, 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 K. Here comes the cross. Heather, it's a good one. Unfortunately, is not on target. Now, on a tough spot. It's a good attempt right there. There comes the cross and Federico once again. Catching the ball. Stopping it. Open the ball towards the left side with Jaden Torres. Jaden... Attempting to go forward. The ball is recovered by Legland. Once again, it's time to build up the play. The ref stops the game and gives a free kick to the Swans. Luis Felipe Mayo, Mayor, go, says Ryan. Luis Felipe Mayo, so far, with a great pass towards his teammate, Moises Jimenez, who wasn't able to reach it. Thanks, Gabriel Martins. The live stream is only good if you're on the other side. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. And of course, it wouldn't be possible without the lovely folks at Better Media. Juliano Giorgi and Heidi Molina. The ball in the midfield. Legland struggling to go forward. Going back with the goalkeeper, Vittorio Di Carlo. Over the left with Bern Breno Freireira. Breno going for a long pass. The header by the center back of Tiki Taka. The ball is recovered by Legland. Once again, trying, but struggling to go forward. Here comes Legland with a good pass. And here comes the pass. It's a good assist for Tanaka. No! There's no way to actually describe what just happened. In the end, Legland had the opportunity to score. Yuto Tanaka failed what was a great situation. It's a good thing this is just a friendly match. Yuto attempted to finish the play, but should He grabbed the ball at the very bottom of it. That's why it was such a horrible shot. The center back is called Breno, but his nickname is Frank. That's interesting. Martha here saying, Vamos Acapulco, Jaden Torres. Jaden, the left back of Tiki Taka, right now trying to recover the ball for them. That's another foul and a free kick for Lakeland. Let's go with Frank. Number three is going to be Frank from now on. Thank you, Gabriel. And Daniel Red saying, go, go. We are at the halftime, at the midtime of the first half of, well, First quarter, there's going to be four quarters or 30 minutes each. Since it's a friendly, 
there's no need to play the 45 the two halves of 45 minutes so it's gonna be four quarters of 30 minutes here comes Lakeland with the cross looking for a header okay Hotka with the header once again looking to score Lakeland struggles shoots and the ball goes off for a goal kick for Federico Vitrago and for Tiki Taka so far in the game, we have seen Lakeland closer to the goal, especially with that one with Yuto Tanaka. But Tiki Taka has still shown a good defense, a good midfield, and so far on the offensive, they haven't been able to show a lot. A foul, an offensive foul from Lakeland. That's why it's a free kick for Tiki Taka over their own side. Today, Luis Felipe Mayo will score a goal. Ryan with fate on number 39. So far, we don't have goals, but we do have hope that they will arrive. Looking for Jaden Torres over the left. In the end, Gabriel Wemura appeared and stopped Jaden from reaching the ball. Angelo VR asking. For Jorge Principe, as soon as possible. That's a good way, actually, to go over the substitutes that Lakeland has. Since it's a friendly match, I believe almost every player will get to play a little bit. Waiting for their moments, Jacob Stutzman, Victor Tavares, Paolo Gato, Victor Enrique Nogueira, Jacob de Jesus, Alex Marijuan, Lucas Dadalto, Sam Jimenez, Eduardo Fusa, Jordan Bataglia, Joao Victor Coaglio, Adam Kerr, Jorge Corato and Quiller Brin. Those players are right at the side of the field with coach Eric Leite waiting for their moment. And now here comes Frank playing with Pedro Brito, number 57. Taking his time going with Uemura Gabriel. He could play with Luis Felipe Mello. Back to Yuto Tanaka. Going forward, good passes. And now, Macedo going over the right side. Wemura. Macedo, it's a good opportunity for number 44. Daniel gonna fight for it. Daniel goes for it. Good control. The cross. Luis Felipe Mayo, be careful with the rebound off the post. So close. Lakeland almost scored the first goal of the match. But before all that, there was an offside position. The assistant referee raised his flag. But it was a good opportunity. The shot from number 24, Luis Guevara. Well, we're getting closer and closer to the first goal of the match. 19 minutes, 11 more minutes, and we'll have to stop for a bit. It was a good tackle. Lakeland recovers the ball and has a throw in over the right. Gabriel Wemura. Ryan also asking for the substitution of Jorge Corato to come on in. Jorge is going to come, I believe, if not in the next quarter, in the third one. Over the left side, good control by Bernardo. Gardner wins the position against Erwin, and unfortunately the pass was not good. The recovery by Tiki Taka, the recovery once again by Legland. Luis Felipe Mayo with a great pass once more. Over the left side, Yuto Tanaka. Yuto leaves the ball with number 34. Once again, Bernardo with the cross. And once again, we have an offside position from the striker, Moises Jimenez. 20 minutes, 10 more to go. And after that, the first quarter will end. Let's go, Jaden Torres. Your family is watching you. We love you, says Lucia Heibert. Daniel Red, Jorge Corato is your choice. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate every single one of your comments. Federico Vitrago in charge of the free kick for Tiki Taka, ready to continue the game. Long pass towards the midfield, the header by Tanaka. It's going to be a ball for Tiki Taka, going back with corner. Erwin Navarro defends the ball, good job by him. Good dribbling skills and the pass towards the left, looking for Jaden. Dylan, Jaden, the pressure by Legland attempting to recover the ball. And here come the Swans. 
Over the right side. They have to go back. And finally, in between Jaden and Santiago, Tiki Taka stops the attack. The throw in for Legland is still near the box of Federico Huitrago, so the danger is still close to them. Gabriel Wemura looking for a teammate to pass the ball to. Here comes Yuto Tanaka Gabriel. Good clearance, and here comes Tiki Taka. Long ball, good control. Offside position, says the ref, the assistant ref over here. Unfortunately for Tiki Taka, their attack is stopped. And so the game continues. Frank playing the ball towards number 44, Macedo, now with Pedro Brito. Frank asks for the ball on the left, but Brito decides to go forward with a long pass. Great control by Bernardo. Going back with Tanaka, Macedo, and here comes Frank. Over the right, that's a really long pass. Recovery by Tiki Taka. The pressure right there by Luis Felipe Mello. It was a good one. There wasn't a foul. And Lakeland has the ball once again. Frank going forward towards Tanaka. Bernardo. Kernert with number 23. Thomas Ware. And here comes Pedro Brito. Frank. Once again with Pedro. Only two defenders from Lakeland. And only one now. Brito with the pass towards the midfield. Luis Felipe Mello over the right side. Wemura. Gabriel, good pass now on the box with the cross. And it's a corner kick. Another corner kick for Legland. It is Daniel Raed, VDP Presente. I'm from Chique, Chique Bahia. Of course, Legland, a team with mostly Brazilian players. But of course, we have Yuto Tanaka from Japan, if I'm not mistaken. Also, Luis Guevara. Moises Jimenez. And here comes Lakeland looking for a header over the far post. The header by Guevara and the save by Federico. Long ball towards the midfield. Let's see who wins it. It's Frank. And here comes Macedo. Daniel with the opportunity. Good cross, but there's nobody there. Guevara and Jimenez were not close to the ball, and it's another goal kick for Tiki Taka. Once again, the ball towards the midfield. This time, Tiki Taka wins it, but Frank is able to win it back for Lakeland. Tanaka. Yuto towards Luis Felipe Mello. Back to Yuto, and the pass from Tanaka was not good. Unfortunately, where was close, and Lakeland still has it. Wemura. Gabriel attempting to go forward with Luis Felipe Mello. He's being rushed. The ball is recovered by Tiki Taka. Jaden Torres fights for the ball. He is able to at least not lose it. And it's a throw in for Legland on an offensive position. Here comes the ball. Recovered by Tiki Taka. Good pressure by Legland now, attempting to recover and shoot as soon as possible. But with a foul this time, says the ref. It's a free kick for the away team. It's a free kick for Tiki Taka. They already played it. And here comes Jake Hotka. Jake goes along the line, reaching Erwin Navarro. Ethan, and here comes over the left side. Nobody. They will leave the field. And it's a throw in once again for Lakeland United. Four minutes, 30 seconds. There goes the throw in. It's recovered by Tiki Taka. Great move right there by the away team attempting to score the first goal of the match. It's a really long pass this time. It's going to go. No, Vittorio Di Carlo does not allow it. It's a ball for the goalkeeper.
Frank with the ball, number three. They try to pressure him. So he plays with Pedro Brito. Going forward with Thomas Weir. And once again, Wemura over the right. It's a difficult spot for Gabriel, who receives a foul, says the ref. Free kick for Lakeland United. Only three minutes, 30 seconds until the end of the first quarter of the match. The ball has already been played, and here comes Frank once again. Macedo fights for it, plays it back with Frank. Over the right side, reaching number 29, Jimenez. Wemura. Wemura back with Brito. Brito with Frank. One of the last few plays of the first quarter. With Brito going for a long pass, looking for Bernardo. The header by Hotka, and it's going to be a throw-in for Lakeland United. There goes Macedo. Yuto Tanaka. Tanaka lost it. Good play by Erwin Navarro. But this time the pass from Erwin was not good. Recovery by Pedro Brito. Once again, Lakeland is not able to break through the defense of Tiki Taka. Good match so far. Regarding the defense for Tiki Taka, Lakeland has not been able to properly shoot towards the goal of Federico. Dylan and Corner, the center backs of Tiki Taka, playing with each other. And now, alongside the center midfielder, Adel Samar with a long pass over the right, looking for Jake Hotka. It's a good opportunity for Tiki Taka now. Erwin Navarro comes along. Good defensive play by Bernardo Gerner. Okay, okay, Givam. Paula, a uh, huge shout out to Paula, the mom of Jebaum. Here comes the cross. The shot, Vittorio Di Carlo, the first shot of the match for Tiki Taka, was stopped by Vittorio Di Carlo. Playing along over the right side, Wemura. Luis Felipe Mello looking on by the left. Jake Hotka with the recovery. A bad pass from Jake. And here comes Macedo, Daniel, Luis Felipe with Pedro Brito. Only one minute and a couple of seconds before the end of the first quarter in between Lakeland and Tiki Taka. Four quarters of 30 minutes. Long pass and Lakeland loses it. Cynthia Ferreira saying, vamos Reno. Estamos una torcida. Some substitutions are being made in Tiki Taka. Now here comes the cross. It wasn't a good throw in, unfortunately. Legland was able to win a free kick. And the last play will be an interesting free kick, an interesting opportunity to make a cross. And a win from above to score the first goal of the match. Here comes the opportunity. Here comes the cross. Looking for a header. Good defense once again. When the ref ends the first quarter of the match. Well, after 30 minutes of this game, neither Lakeland or Tiki Taka College Prep have been able to score, ladies and gentlemen. Really, they haven't properly built up good plays. A couple of shots, one from Tiki Taka, one from Lakeland, and not much more. Let's wait for the players to come back into the field. And after that, we'll see if we have substitutions. People are asking for Jorge, and we'll see if Coach Eric Leite pleases them. Right now, Lakeland United and Tiki Taka College Prep are tying 0-0 in this friendly game. We'll be right back.
tá foda, você mexe um pouco de gado, não foi, não passa o direito pra você, tá foda. Pô, não sabia que o jogo, acabei de avisar pro moleque aqui. Nossa, nada. Pô, saudade de alguém aqui, aqui é gostoso. O que você fez? O que você fez, filho? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are almost ready to begin the second quarter of this friendly match in between Legland and Tiki Taka. The people in the comments in the YouTube channel of Legland United are asking for the substitution of Jorge Corato, who is most likely going to play some minutes, although I'm not sure if he's right now in the field. Well, for the following 30 minutes, we'll have Legland. Remember, Legland United is wearing blue jersey. He's a, they are attacking over the right now. And Tiki Taka College are wearing black, and they're going to be attacking over the left. The ref blows his whistle, and we continue this friendly match here at Feltrum Sports Complex in between Haines City, Florida, in between Legland and Tiki Taka. It's no saying Tiki Taka, a bunch of talented high schoolers. Impressive. And here come the bunch of talented high schoolers over the right side with a long pass. He's onside. The goalkeeper, Vittorio Di Carlo, has to come out and follow the ball until the end of the field for a goal kick for Legland. Of course, if you didn't know, Tiki Taka is the place where you want to take your kid if you want him to get into college programs. That's actually one of the mottos of Tiki Taka, placing players in college programs. And here they are, facing against Lakeland, three times champions of the United Premier Soccer League Florida West Conference. Going for the fourth one in this season. Right now, at the beginning of the second quarter, Tiki Taka with a more offensive mindset, even though Moises Jimenez almost recovered the ball. Be careful because here comes the team wearing black against Legland. Good work by Tanaka right there. Really long pass that it's gonna end up in the hands of the goalkeeper Federico Huitrago. Forza Joven Legland aqui. Here we continue. Right there in the midfield, Tiki Teka. 
Luis Felipe Mayo fights for the ball. The ref stops the game and gives a free kick to the Swans. Thomas Weir leaves the ball for his teammate, for Pedro Brito. So far, we've seen some good passes from Pedro Brito. Going back with number three, Frank Reno Ferreira. Bernardo Gerner going over the left. Good passes once again towards the center with Yuto Tanaka. Back to Frank. Jorge Corata now. Hashtag Jorge Corata now. Trending topic in the YouTube chat of Lakeland. The recovery by Tiki Taka going for the first goal of the match. It's a good run. A, di a bit difficult. Good defense by Brito and Frank. And now Luis Felipe Mello. Luis Felipe Mello is struggling a bit. He tried to play with his team and he couldn't do so. Recovery. Tiki Taka for the first goal of the match. Once again, good defensive work by number 13, Gabriel Wemura, and number 57, Pedro Brito. Free kick for Legland. And now Vittorio Di Carlo plays over the left side. Once again, Pedro Brito. Three minutes of the second quarter. We'll have 120 minutes of game today. Remember, it's a friendly game. The objective of today's game is to watch how the players are growing. The pass from number 24, Luis Guevara. And after that, the clearance by Tiki Taka. It's going to be a throw-in for Legland in charge of number 34, Bernardo Gerner. Bernardo with the throw-in back to number 34. Jake Hotka missed with the clearance. And it seems it's going to be another yeah, throw-in for Legland. Mil goals, mil goals, mil goals. So Jorge, so oh, Jorge Tokoku et Cheraidor. I don't understand a single word of Portuguese. The header by Tiki Taka. Tanaka playing it back. Pedro Brito. Brito towards the center. Good pass towards number 24. Luis Guevara back to number 13. Gabriel Wemura. Now Wemura goes towards the center and plays in short with Frank. Breno going with Tanaka Yuto. Good passes right here for Lakeland. But in the end, Tiki Taka recovers the ball. And here they come for a counterattack. When Muda fights for it, Lakeland is able to recover it. Oh, no, that was a bad pass. And now Tiki Taka has the opportunity. Five players on the attack. The header by Frank saving Lakeland. And now, could this be the chance for the Swans? Long pass. And no, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Luis Guevara was on an offside position, and it's going to be a free kick for the away team for Tiki Taka. And so the game continues. Corner and Dylan, the center backs of Tiki Taka going forward. Good passes right here. Over the left, they have a bit more space. They have to go back. Federico. Over here on the left, Jaden Torres wide open. Great control. And the pass going forward. Santiago. Good call right there by number 29, Moises Jimenez. But Moises did a foul. Free kick. And the ball is on. Here comes Tiki Taka. Frank and Tanaka stopping the attack once again. A solid defense so far from Lakeland, from Brito and Frank. Frank MVP, says Gabriel Martins. So far, an, an spotless game from Frank. Wemura lost the ball. Here comes Tiki Taka again. The shot from the distance was an easy shot for Vittorio Di Carlo. Not a particularly hard one. Vittorio now playing in short with Gabriel Martins MVP, Frank. Frank going over the left with Bernardo Gerner. And here comes Legland. Good opportunity over the left. In the center, we have Guevara. We have Jimenez. Tanaka. Tanaka goes back. 
towards the center with number 23, Thomas Ver. Over the right with Wemura. Gabriel playing in short back to Thomas. Over the left. Bernardo Garner looking for a cross, looking for a header. It's a good control, be careful. Luis Felipe Mello. Unfortunately, Jimenez could not control the ball. And once again, Frank with the recovery with the pass. Luis Felipe Mello in short. And here comes Lakeland for the first one off the post. It seems like a foul. Once again, even though it was a foul. It's going to be another offside position and another free kick for Tiki Taka. Once again, the opportunity. It was a good shot. A great opportunity to finish up the play. And so, ready to continue, Federico. Seven minutes of the second quarter. The ref says, wait a minute, I didn't blow my whistle. Let me give the order and then you can play. And here we go. Corner and Dylan, the center backs. Be careful with the pressure here from Jimenez, from Guevara. And the recovery by Lakeland. Here they come. No, Federico once again. Good work by the goalkeeper of Tiki Teca, coming out, grabbing the ball, stopping the attack, and playing with the center back. Long pass. Gabriel Wemura with the recovery. The pass going forward. Jimenez with Thomas Veer. Frank with Pedro Brito. Brito going forward with. His teammate Jimenez. Luis Felipe Mello. Over the left side. Here comes Bernardo Gardner. Bernardo lost the ball. And it's another throw in for Jake Hotka and for Tiki Taka. The ball comes and goes. Thomas Veer in possession of the ball, trying to shoot, and the save, the very first great save of the match by Federico. The goalkeeper stretched himself as far as he could and stopped what could have been a great golazo from Thomas Veer. Corner kick for Legland it is. The Swans attempting to score the first goal of this friendly match. And here comes the ball over the far post. Good header by Jake. The rebound. And once again, Federico. So far, the MVP of Tiki Taka. Once again, the catch by the goalkeeper. Tiki Taka lost it. Legland recovered it. And after that, a foul that gives the Swans a free kick. Great opportunity for Legland to score the first goal of the match. This is their best moment so far in the game. They have to take advantage of it. And in front of the ball is number 29, Moises Jimenez. Here comes Jimenez with the shot. And once again, Federico, it wasn't a particularly hard one, but still... Good reflexes, good moves by the goalkeeper. Ten minutes of the second quarter. Frank, this time Frank missed the clearance. And it's going to be a throw-in for Tiki Taka on the offensive. In a good position to do a cross. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being there on the other side. Following us live in this friendly match in between Lakeland and Tiki Taka. Without you, this broadcast wouldn't be possible. So thanks for being on the other side. And as always, feel free to leave your comment, your support for your team, for your friends, for your family, and we'll read it live. Here comes Tiki Taka, looking for a header, and Frank with the clearance now. Once again, throw in for Tiki Taka. If you're a Lakeland fan, remember, their debut... Their home opener on the United Premier Soccer League will be on April 27th against Naples City. The shot of Tiki Taka got blocked on a teammate. Counter-attack opportunity. 
Jimenez lost the ball, was able to touch it over the left. And finally, the recovery by Tikitaka. The team wearing black, attempting to make a breakthrough to stop the pressure from Lakeland. Ahora sí, está Shaden Torres. Saludos, says Lucia Hibbert. Of course, this is a friendly match. There, there are no limits with substitutions. Players can come and go as their coaches please. People still asking for Jorge King Colato. Here comes the ball. Recovery by Luis Felipe Mello. In the midfield, with the opportunity, with the attack, comes Lakeland with Gabriel Wemura. Gabriel is being rushed. Good dribbling skills by Wemura. Three players on the way. And once again, he takes his time and plays in short. Luis Felipe Mello fights for it and receives a foul. It was a great play by Wemura. And Mello was able to win a foul. It's a free kick for the Swans. So here comes the free kick from Thomas Ver. Thomas go over the left with Frank. All of the players from Lakeland, except Vittorio Di Carlo, on the side of Tiki Taka. Brito goes over the left looking for Bernardo, the header and the clearance by corner. Bernardo allows the ball to go out and it's another throw in for Lakeland United. There goes the throw in, the control, and the loss of the ball. The recovery. And here comes Legland. Be careful with this opportunity. Unfortunately, Tanaka was not able to control it. Good work by Wemura. Gabriel wins the ball. Wemura could shoot. He leaves the ball with his teammate. And in the end, Legland wasn't able to finish the play. Long pass. Hot car. Good work by Jake. Wemura fights for the ball, and in the end, it's going to be another throw-in for Lakeland. It's time for the men enter the game. Let's go, Jorge and Chocolate. Throw-in, Tanaka. It wasn't a good control by Tanaka. And now, Lakeland fights for it, attempting to end the ball. They ask for a penalty, and in the end, they say no. And now Tiki Taka for a counter attack. Recovery by Legland Wemura. Once again, good pressure from behind by the center back of Tiki Taka. Wemura. Jimenez on a tough spot, plays it back. There's no foul. That's a clean tackle. Clean intervention by Tiki Taka's player. Still, it's a throw in for Legland. Jimenez. Wemura back to Jimenez. Brito plays with Frank over the left. There's going to be some substitutions in Tiki Taka as soon as the ball leaves the field. Brito with Tanaka. Yuto back with Brito. Brito is being told to play over the left with Frank. Number three. Once again, Thomas Villa. Thomas back to the goalkeeper, Vittorio Di Carlo, in one of his first appearances in this second quarter. There's no high pressure from Tiki Taka. They allow Lakeland to have the ball, at least until the midfield. Brito looking for a teammate, reaching Jimenez. Tanaka plays it back. Frank. Brito, Frank, number three. Long pass from Frank. It's a good one. It's a great one. Bernardo with the cross and Federico Vitrago catches the ball and stops the attack. Interesting play. A good way for Legland to break through the lines of the defense of Tiki Taka. Unfortunately, the cross was not as good as the pass. And now the pass ends up on the other side of the field from Federico Chubitorio. Frank plays with Brito. 
We're at the middle of the second quarter. As soon as we reach the 60th minute, the match once again will stop. Frank with a long pass, number three, looking for a teammate, looking for Bernardo, looking for Thomas. Thomas fights for the ball, but it had left the field. That's why it's going to be a throw in for Tiki Taka with Jake Hotka. There goes the throw in. The ball's recovered by Lakeland. It's not a good control by Luis Guevara, who fights for the ball. But this will be a corner kick, nevertheless, for Lakeland. It's a good pressure, a good work by Luis Guevara. Let's go, Melo. Wake up, says Ryan. It's true that in this second quarter, Luis Felipe has not been as active as in the first one. Let's see if that can change. Speaking of which, here comes the corner kick, looking for a header over the far post. And once again, Federico catches the ball. A yellow card for the foul against the goalkeeper. They weren't letting him play the ball. And I believe it's a good call by the ref. If I'm not mistaken, that's actually a yellow card for Frank, for Breno Ferreira. And so now Federico plays the ball. Long pass towards the midfield. The ball in control of Tiki Taka. A little bit messy, but they're able to have the ball. Hotka, shake with a long pass. But it's a good one, looking for Erwin Navarro. Frank goes alongside the ball, leaves it be, and it's a goal kick for Vittorio Di Carlo and for Lakeland United. Actually, no, it's going to be a throw in from that position. I was almost sure it was a goal kick. Please, Jorge Quincorato needs to entry now, needs to be subbed in, says Ryan. We still have a long way to go, people. Jorge will play for sure. Great recovery by Lakeland. But people want Jorge right now. We have 10 minutes, 30 seconds before the end of the second quarter. There goes the pass. Good pressure by Tiki Taka recovering the ball with a throw in. There goes the throw in by Jack Hodka. Their recovery without a foul from Lakeland. And here comes the Swans. That's a really long ball. It's going to end up with Federico Vitrago. And over the left. The ref stops the game. The player from Lakeland and a player from Tiki Taka are down on the ground. The medical staff is going to make their entrance to help them both. Also, Gabriel Wemura right here. Also needing some help stretching. The players who were injured have either been replaced or have been able to recover. So now, as soon as the ref allows it, the game will continue with a drop ball, if I'm not mistaken, for Tiki Taka. Back to the goalkeeper. Long pass from the goalkeeper, the header by Frank. And after that, Tanaka plays it over the left. The ball comes and goes. The game gets a little bit messy. Once again, a little stalemate in between the two. It's a good opportunity, a good breakthrough. Here comes the shot, and Vittorio Di Carlo saves it. The goalkeepers are starting to become important in the match. 
first Federico and now Vittorio Di Carlo. A great way for the goalkeeper to block the shot. And it's going to be a corner kick for Tiki Taka. And here comes the cross over the far post. The header, be careful with the rebound, the shot. And here comes, so close. Sheikh Hodka almost scores the first goal of the match. It was a really messy play in the box. Nobody was able to either clear it out or shoot it against until Jake was able to do so. Gabriel Wemura is having once again some problems. I believe he's going to be subbed out sooner than later. Luis Felipe Mayo is the new CR7. Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi. The people have a lot of faith in Luis Felipe Mayo. The recovery by Tiki Taka. Really long pass. Good header by the center back. And once again, an opportunity for Legland. They lost the ball. Frank comes out, guards the ball until Vittorio Di Carlo comes out and grabs it. We have seven more minutes until the end of the second quarter. Once again, here comes Brito with a really long pass. Nobody touches at first. Lakeland has it. Here comes, that's a foul. That's a clean recovery. And in the end, Luis Felipe Mayo playing in short with Thomas Vier. Going back with Frank. And over the left with Bernardo. Thomas Bernardo. And now Tanaka reaching for Brito. Brito plays forward. Lakeland has the ball, but they are not going through. Long ball for number 13, Wemura. Gabriel. In the end, the ball left the field. It was a good attempt. But it's just another goal kick for Federico Vitrago. Cynthia Ferreira. Breno leaving her heart. Six more minutes. The substitutes of Legland are already warming up alongside the field once again. We are waiting for Jacob Stutzman, Victor Tavares, Paolo Gato, Victor Enrique Nogueira, Jacob de Jesus, Alex Marijuan, Lucas Dadalto, Sam Jimenez, Eduardo Fusa, Jordan Bataglia, Joao Victor Cuaglio, Adam Keder. Of course, number 55, Jorge King Corato and Quiller Breen. Tiki Taka tries to go forward. The ball is recovered by Legland without a foul. And here comes Fusa. Number 35 tried to go forward. Couldn't do so. Federico with the catch. And once again, Tiki Taka. The team wearing black going forward. There's no foul. The game continues. And here comes the away team. Attempting to make a cross. Good appearance by Bernardo, but here comes Jake. And it's going to be a throw-in then for Tiki Taka. Five minutes and then it's over. So far, the best situations in this second quarter. The shot... From both Legland and Tiki Taka that were saved by Vittorio Di Carlo and Federico Vitrago. Vamos Guevara! Says BR1XN. Breno Ferreira, I love you. Ana Cristina Ferreira Moitea. Here comes Tiki Taka. It seems like they're going to play the throwing long, looking for a header. Here comes the ball. The clearance. And Fusa. Manages to send it out. Vittorio Di Carlo. Vittorio sends the ball flying towards the midfield. And the ball still in the field for Tiki Taka. Thomas Vir is not able to send the player out of the field. Tiki Taka for the first goal of the match with the shot. And it's blocked. Be careful here. Legland was not able to clear it out at first. There's one player from Tiki Taka down on the ground. The ref should stop the game. And now he does it. Yes, just when he was starting to recover. The game should continue with a drop ball for Legland.
The game continues. Last three minutes, 20 seconds. Here comes Frank. Breno Ferreira. Bye, Breno. Familia Aquino Brasil. Trocento para você, Karina Rodriguez. Leyland tries and fails to go forward. Tiki Taka still has the ball. Over the left. And another situation for Tiki Taka at full speed. They are in the box. They could shoot from there. They don't do it. There are some times in football when you have to be selfish and you have to shoot. Especially when you have the angle. Both Lakeland and Tiki Taka. They are not selfish. They are kind and share the ball. The shot from Tiki Taka ends up in the back of Pedro Brito. It's a corner kick for Tiki Taka once more. Na torcida Breno, Waldir Pipolo Jr. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for being on the other side, following this friendly match in between Lakeland and Tiki Taka. Here comes the cross towards the first post. Be careful with the rebound. Here comes the shot from the distance. It was shot. And now the counter attack opportunity at full speed is probably going to end in a pass back to the goalkeeper Federico Huitrago. Last two minutes. Tiki Taka with a great control and the opportunity over the left. And here they come. Over the right now. Good dribbling. But the ball is recovered by Luis Felipe Mello. Breno, excellent player, says Francisco Silvera Filo. The attempt by Guevara. Here comes Luis. Luis Cito plays in short. Jimenez. That seemed like a foul. The ref says it wasn't. We're about to reach the end of the second quarter. Fusa. Here comes Guevara. Luisito. Back with Tanaka. Yuto goes forward. And it's going to be a corner kick for Lakeland at the end of the second quarter. It's an interesting play. The very last play of the second quarter, looking for a header. There goes Tanaka, Guevara, Brito. Also, Breno is, our, is right there. And here comes the cross from Thomas, looking for a header. Once again, a great opportunity for Lakeland ends up in the hands of Federico Huitrago. Two great saves from him so far. The ball's recovered and sent flying towards Tiki Taka side. This could be the last opportunity for Lakeland. They can manage to pull through. And Tiki Taka now goes for a counter attack at the end of the second quarter. That's a late tackle. That's a foul. The ref allows the game to continue. Says it wasn't a foul. And now here comes Tiki Taka for the first goal of the match. They are in the box looking for a spot to shoot. Pedro Brito with a great decisive tackle. Good defensive work by him. And it seems like not only it was a great tackle, it was a goal kick in the end. Everything great with Brito today. A great center back couple, both Breno Ferreira and Pedro Brito. The ball leaves the field. When the ref blows the whistle and, well, ladies and gentlemen, the second quarter of this friendly match in between Lakeland United and Tiki Taka College Prep has ended. Remember, we still have 60 more minutes of playtime in between Lakeland and Tiki Taka. So far, an even game. It's true, Lakeland has had more situations, but Tiki Taka also had clear opportunities in which they could have taken the lead. Unfortunately for they... They couldn't take advantage of those thanks to Vittorio Di Carlo. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we're going to wait until the players come back into the field and then we'll continue. Lakeland United and Tiki Taka College are tying 0-0. We are waiting for the goals. We are waiting for the entrance of Jorge Quincorato. We'll be right back.
थी
Well, well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're still here at Feltrum Sports Complex in Haines City, Florida, where the third quarter of the match in between Lakeland United and Tiki Taka College Prep is about to begin. Let me tell you, there's going to be a lot of substitutions in Lakeland. Coach Eddie Leite has decided to change up the game. You know, heat up the, the board and put up... 10 new players in the field. I believe only Thomas Bier is still in the field. So let's wait and see which players. Let's see. Paolo Gato is going to be in charge of the kickoff. Here we have number 35, uh, Eduardo Fusa. A lot of substitutions, a lot of changes. I still don't see Jorge Corato, though. But I could be in the wrong. Once again, there goes the whistle. And the game continues here. Lakeland United and Tiki Taka College Prep playing a friendly game before the start of the season. Long pass over the left. It's a good control. Back, back towards number 52. Taking their sweet time back to the goalkeeper. There goes the ball towards the goalkeeper, Jovito Quaglio. Over the right side we go. Luisa Silet, Mariana Bravo, Rosa Guerrero, cheering for Luis Guevara. Arriba, Guevara, Luis Guevara, Guevara. The people were cheering for Frank, for Breno Ferreira, and now the people are cheering for Guevara. The game continues, and here comes Tiki Taka. Going forward. Good intervention. The attempted recovery by Jordan Bataglia. And Zabina ball for Tiki Taka over the left. And here they come. Taking their time. Paolo Gatto with the pressure. They can recover the ball. And now the clearance at the last line. At full speed, Paolo Gatto. Battaglia fights for it, but can't recover it. And so... Good work right there by number 56, Quiller Breen. And it's going to be a throw in for Lakeland. They already played it. Number 42, Jordan Battaglia back to Quiller Breen. Towards the other center back, it's Jorge Corato, number 55. The pass from number 35, Eduardo Fuse over the right. The ball didn't left the field. Here comes Lakeland with the... Oh, no. It wasn't either a shot or a cross. It's a goal kick for Tiki Taka in the end, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we continue. We are still here. Two minutes of the third quarter in between Lakeland and Tiki Taka. The control was not good. And here comes Adam Keder with the pass. Once again, number 48, Adam. Merry go round. Surpassing one player, but not two. The ref saying there was a foul against Adam, and so he called it back and gives Lakeland a free kick. Breno jogó mucho, says Marcio Rodriguez, which is true. A great match from both Breno and Pedro Brito, the center backs of Lakeland. They are playing in short with Lucas Dadalto, Bataglia. Jordan Battaglia towards the center. The shot from the distance and the goalkeeper catches the ball. Victor Tavares attempted to surprise Federico Huitrago and he couldn't do so. So far, great saves from the goalkeeper of Tiki Taka. Jorge Quincorato clearing the ball out. Battaglia with the header. Tavares with a great pass. A great attempt to pass the ball to Battaglia. And that's a foul from Jordan. Yeah, a free kick for Tiki Taka. Ready to continue. Tiki Taka with this free kick going forward. They messed it up. Throw in for Lake Laniris then. Mm -hmm. 
Lucas Dadalto with the throw in with Tavares. Tavares couldn't control it. But now here comes Tiki Taka. Once again over the left. It's a good control by Jaden Torres. That's not a foul, says the ref. No, yeah, it was a foul. It is a free kick for Tiki Taka. Almost five minutes of the third quarter, like we said. Four quarters of 30 minutes. We already played two. We're in the third one, and there's still going to be a fourth one after we reach the 90-minute mark. It's a great way for a coach Eric Leite to see, to test the players, to see how they react, and just see just how well prepared they are for the start of the season. Joe Victor Quaglia with the clearance. And the ball ends up out of the field. It's a goal kick for Legland. Oh, what a <laughs> Betty Silva saying, Suerte, Alfonso, te desea tu abuela Betty. La bendición desde Venezuela. Gracias, abuela Betty. Thank you so much for supporting Alfonso and for being here. Jorge Corato. He comes forward, decides to go back. No. He goes for a long pass, looking for a teammate, looking for Paolo Gatto. The clearance. And here comes Legland. Once again, the Swans are not able to go over the defense of Tiki Taka. It's a good pressure by Tavares. And the pass going back to the goalkeeper. Clever defense by Tiki Taka so far. Making it impossible for Legland to go forward. And this is a great attempt. This is a great opportunity. Joao Victor Quaglio comes out, plays the ball with Lucas Dadalto. Lucas lost the ball and he recovers it. He makes up for his mistake. Going back with Joao Victor Quaglio. Towards the midfield now. It's a good header by Tavares. And once again, the pressure by Legland trying to recover the ball. Tavares with the header. That's a handball. Yes, the ref stops the game. And it's going to be a free kick for Legland. Luis, tú puedes, says Mari Angel Bravo. Jorge Corato is the best, says JP Lucena. New substitutions being made in Tiki Taka as we await the game to continue. Jordan Bataglia is going to be the player in charge of this free kick. And he already played in short with Lucas Dadalto. Dadalto with the cross. Good clearance by Tiki Taka. Still, Lakeland. Tries to recover the ball, tries to score the first goal of the match. <laughs> the ball comes out. And there it goes once again. Recovered by Tiki Taka. Back to the goalkeeper, Federico. Towards the midfield and out of the field. Saludos y bendiciones para Luis Guevara de su tía Mari desde Bejuma, Venezuela. Es Mary. Guevara, Lenis, Mabel Castellanos, Luis Guevara, un joven enfocado y excelente deportista. The pass going back, it's a great recovery, and Tiki Taka has the opportunity. Jorge Corato King has to stop the attack, and here comes Jorge at full speed. Jorge stops the attack. Jorge Corato! Great work by number 55. Well, people were asking for him. He did a good job so far. Thank you so much to everyone who's watching the game live on Lakeland's YouTube channel. Please remember, like and subscribe the video to help the channel grow. The channel of the Swans, three-time champions of the Florida West Conference of the United Premier Soccer League. Moises Jimenez, someone from the YouTube account from Moises Jimenez saying, Moises Jimenez, goal, please. Lakeland tries to go forward. Over the right side now. It's a really long pass, but it's a good one. Legland tries and goes forward, attempting to make a cross. The ball goes out and it's going to be a throw-in. Saludos para Luis Guevara de su tío Héctor desde Pereira, Colombia. Jorge King Corato. We are approaching the 10th minute of the third quarter. And here comes, it's going to be a 
No, no, yeah, throwing, not a corner kick, a throwing. Yeah. There we go. Miscommunication in between the linesman and the player. Here comes the cross. The header was not good. The ref says it's a goal kick for Tiki Taka. Lenis Mabel Castellanos, apoyamos a Luis Guevara y su excelente equipo. Juanjo, apoyándote desde Venezuela, Luis Guevara, de su primo Juan. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for leaving your great messages. The center back of Tiki Taka tries to go forward. The ball's recovered by Lucas Adalto. Quiller Brin. Brin plays forward back to Kyler. And now back to the goalkeeper, Joe Vitor Coaglio. Vamos, Cape Coral. SFD elusive. Joe Victor Coaglio with the pass looking for the Adalto. Good control by Lucas, but he can't surpass the player from Tiki Taka. Good dribbling right there. Paolo Gatto with the pressure, but he couldn't recover it. It's anybody's game so far, and here comes Tiki Taka for the first goal of the match. It was a good run, but the player was never able to properly control the ball. Joao Victor Coaglio already had it. Arriba las chivas. It's the difficult moment for La Chivas de Guadalajara right now. After losing on the CONCACAF Champions League against America. Long pass for Paolo Gatto. Paolo struggles, was not able to win the ball over. And needs a foul and a free kick for Tiki Taka. Saludos a Nicolás Morales. Feliz cumpleaños. Super orgulloso padre. Julia Rick. Luis Guevara. Vamos. Arriba equipo. This is Lenis Mabel Castellanos. The ball's recovered in the midfield. By Le That's a foul and a free kick for Lakeland. The ref allows the game to continue. And now he should go back. Tiki Taka with the opportunity. Good tackle by Lucas Adalto. Good work by Lucas right there. And now Jorge Corato King alongside the right back of Lakeland. Stop the attack. And here comes the Swans. Losing the ball. It's a difficult moment in the match for the Lakeland. And here comes Tiki Taka. That's a foul. And it should be a free kick for the away team. And also a yellow card after that foul. Be careful. Because Tiki Taka College Prep wants to score the first goal of the match with a free kick. And they are in a good position. Not so far from the goal of Joao Victor Coaglio. Let's see if they are able to score. One thing's for sure, it's not easy, but let's see how good is their aim. There goes the shot! Joao Victor Coaglio with the catch. And now attempting to go for a counter-attack. That's a good control by Thomas Veer. Number 23. Thomas with a long pass over the left, reaching number 35, Eduardo Fusa. Eduardo tried to play with Paolo Gatto. Unfortunately, the pass never reached him. It's going to be a corner kick, nevertheless. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being on the other side of this broadcast, of this friendly match in between Lakeland and Tiki Taka College Prep. If you haven't, please subscribe and leave your like. Seasons really helps the channel out, especially since we're waiting for the comeback of the season of the UPSL, where Legland is going to fight to win their crown back. There goes the cross to the post. It's in! Legland takes the lead, ladies and gentlemen. Paolo Gatto from Italy, number nine, takes the lead. Legland United won. Tiki Taka College Prep zero. It was a good header. Jorge Corato King was right alongside him. But it was Paolo Gatto, number nine, who scored. In the end, it was from a corner kick that Lakeland was able to score the first goal of the match. It was a great cross and a great header. Good draw by number nine. Tu familia Bravo Silva. Ahí tú estás apoyándote desde Lechería Venezuela, desde Betty Silva, SFD Elusive Stein. Saludos a mi suegra Marta, que está viendo desde Acapulco. 
16 more minutes until the end of the third half of the match. Leglan is finally winning, but be careful. Here comes Tiki Taka with a great save by Roby Torquatlio. By God! When everything seemed grim, Joao Victor Quaglio with a great intervention. And now for a counter-attack. It's a great opportunity for Tavares, number eight. Lucas Dadalto is helping on the left. Here comes Lakeland is not able to pull through. Good tackle, but still Tiki Taka goes on the offensive now with a long ball. Quiller Brin has to stop it. Quiller Brin is not able to do so. Here comes the cross and Joao Victor Quaglio once again. Lucas Adalto. Good control by Tavares, who goes back with number 48, Adam Keder. Dadalto. Dadalto is being pressured, places back with Joao Victor Quaglio. Joao Victor Quaglio over the right side. Good possession, good passes from Legland so far. Let's see what they can do now, since they're on the lead. Long pass over the right. It's a good one. It's a great one. And here they come. Let's see. The cross looking for Paolo Gatto. at the opportunity for Fusa, who plays it back. Once again, Lakeland lost the ball. But it's recovered. It's a good chance. It's a good opportunity. But they're not space to go through. It's a throw-in for Lakeland once again. JP Lucena saying, great goalkeeper. Lakeland has a lot of great goalkeepers. A bunch of great goalkeepers. Jacob Stutzman. Of course, Joao Victor Quaglio, who just made the save. And Vittorio Di Carlo, who was also very relevant on the second quarter. The opportunity right there by number 35, Paolo Gatto. And the second one is in. And just like the first one, you need a striker like Paolo to open up things. He was in the right space at the right time. That's what the number nine, that's what the strikers for. Paolo Gatto scores the second goal of the match after the rebound, after the shot of Eduardo Fusa. Paolo Gatto was the second goal in the score for Lakeland United 2, Tikitaka College Prep 0. Maria Gomez saying this de Bolivia. Vamos, Luis Pablo de Tiquiteca. Luis Pablo Chavez. Right now, Lakeland United winning 2 0. Thanks to Paolo Gato. The recovery by Kuiler Brin, number 56, who received a foul. And it's a free kick for Lakeland that has already been played. Going back with Jorge Corato, the king. Passes in short to Adam. Adam Keder over the left, reaching Dadalto. Lucas goes for the pass towards Fusa. Eduardo fights for the ball, but in the end, it should be a goal kick for Federico. Lakeland. With the pressure, attempting to recover the ball, looking for a third goal. Paolo Gatto looking for his hat trick. <coughs> Long ball for Paolo, good header by the center back. The ball is recovered, and here comes Tiki Taka. Tiki Taka over the left once more. The ball is recovered, good intervention, good anticipation by Lakeland. Going back now, Jorge Corato. Corato playing it back with Joe Victor Quaglio. Back to Jorge. Last 12 minutes of the third quarter. Bataglia with Jorge. Corato with his center back companion, Kyler Brin. Kyler goes forward and looks for Dadalto. Lucas with the control, with the header. And the ball is going to leave the field. And it's a throw in for Tiki Taka. There goes the throw-in. Good header by Dadalto. Tavares has the ball. Goes forward. Looks for Paolo Gatto. Bataglia. Jordan loses the ball. There's no foul. It's a clean recovery by Tikitaka. Bataglia fights for the ball and recovers it. Good work by number 42. Jordan over the right side. Fusa. 
Thomas, and now it's ball recovered by Tiki Taka. Dadalto. Lucas plays it back with Joe Vitor Quaglio. Juanjo, the game's not gonna end. The game's not gonna end at the 90 minute mark. We're still gonna have 30 more minutes. We're going to 120 because it's a friendly match and that's what the deal was. Four quarters of 30 minutes. Vamos Lakeland! Jorge Corato King. Jorge Corato with the pass. The recovery by Tiki Taka. Dribbling. And now Tavares fights for it. Back to the center. Back, back to Dylan. Over the left now. Last 10 minutes of the third quarter. The pressure from Paolo Gatto still. Battaglia with the recovery. Paolo Gatto with the ball. Taking his time with this one. Over the right side. It's a good control. And here they come. Great passes. Few sides not going to be able to make it though. But still, it was a good play. Good build up. The substitutions by coach Eric Leite have really improved Lakeland's performance overall. We've seen not only two good goals from Paolo Gatto, some interesting interventions from Eduardo Fusa, from Adam Keder, from Lucas Dadalto, of course, from number 55, Jorge King, who plays the ball back to Joe Victor Coelho. Joe Victor Coelho, who also had a really great save when the match was 1-0 for Lakeland, avoiding the equalizer. Tiki Taka with the ball. Let's see what they can do, trying to score at least one goal to get closer to Lakeland once again. They are right over the right side, trying to make a cross show. Oh, Victor Coelho once again. Good call by the goalkeeper. Guevara is not playing. No, Marcos Müller is right. Luisito Guevara was playing on the first 60 minutes of the game. After that, he was stopped out. Thomas Vir was not able to go through. And now, long pass from Tiki Taka over the left. And it's over. It's a goal kick for Joao Vitor Quaglio. <laughs> it's hard to stop the king, Corato, in the back. Breno, unfortunately, is not in the game anymore also. Just like Ibarra, he played 60 minutes and coach Eric Leite decided to sub him out. Breno Played a really great first half of the match alongside Brito. But now it's time for the king, Jorge Corato, alongside Cuiller Brin. Victor Quaglio back to Corato. Jorge comes forward, plays with Bataglia. Back to Jorge. Jorge wins the possession and plays it back. Even though he was pressured, he was able to play with the goalkeeper. Cuiller Brin. Cuiller back to Joe. Oh, Victor Quaglio. Oh, Victor Quaglio with Jorge Corato and Jorge Corato now comes forward and goes for a long pass Adam Keder could not control the ball so Tiki Taka now has a throw in and an offensive position there goes the ball over the left trying to make a cross, it's a good control it's a good pass but it's not easy for Tiki Taka to finish up the play to properly shoot towards the goal there goes the cross there's no foul the ref says it was. And so, with 6 minutes and 30 seconds, Lakeland United has a free kick. The game continues now with Joao Vitor Quaglio playing with Pedro Corato. Pedro Corato with Joao. And once again, Pedro coming forward. Pedro with a long pass. Good work by the center back who clears it out. And it's an interesting opportunity for Tiki Taka. 
The away team in control of the ball, trying to score a goal. Good pass towards the center. They could shoot. They go for the right side. And Lucas Dadalto with the recovery. Dadalto lost it. Tavares recovered it for Lakeland and played it over the right side. Thomas Ver Bataglia with the pass towards number 15. And here comes Victor Nogueira. Nogueira made a foul. A late tackle. And it should be a yellow card after... Yep, a uh, yellow card for Victor Enrique Nogueira. Unfortunately for him, a late tackle it was. And there goes a free kick towards Quiller Britain. Paolo Gato fights for the ball. Nogueira and Tavares attempt to recover it for Lakeland. Tiki Taka clears it out. Tavares puts it in. Nogueira with the header. And once again, the game gets messy. Adam Keder lost the ball. Tiki Taka goes for the right side. It's a great run. A great opportunity for the away team to score a goal in the match. There goes the ball. And they score! The first goal in the match for Tiki Taka. After an impressive run over the right side. Across over the left. And an easy tap-in for Tiki Taka. Who close in in the scoreboard. Legland United 2. Tiki Taka College Prep 1. In this occasion, there was a huge gap over the left side of Legland's defense. Lucas Dadalto was not there. Quiller Brin was not there to cover him up. And Jorge Corato couldn't do anything. Neither could do Joao Victor Quaglio. A good play by the Kentucky College Prep, who are back on the match. Quiller Brin. Wheeler goes for a long pass over the right. I believe it's too long for him. The ball leaves the field and it's a throw in for Tiki Taka, who are back on the game now. There's one goal behind Legland. Paolo Gato, Tavares, and Nogueira with the pressure. Tavares has the ball, number eight. Tavares plays it back with Quiller Brin. Now Quiller goes for Jorge Corato for the king. Jorge goes forward in short with number 47. And now with a long pass over the for the box. And Federico Huitrago recovers it for Tiki Taka. Played in short. Last three minutes of the third quarter. The ball is recovered by Quiller Brin. Played over the right side. Tiki Taka fights for it, but they can't recover it. It's an interesting one for Lakeland. Here they go at full speed over the right. Now the tackle is a good one, and the ball is out. It's a ball for Lakeland United, and the ball and the ref gives the yellow card after the foul. Last two minutes, 30 seconds of the third quarter of the friendly match in between Lakeland United 2, um, in between Lakeland United, who is winning 2-1 against Tiki Taka. Here comes the free kick, looking for a header from Jordan Battaglia. It was a great play. Jorge Corata almost manages to score. We still have two more minutes, and Lakeland is trying to score, but they lost the ball. Tiki Taka is on a great opportunity for an equalizer. And here they go at full speed over the left. A tad too long, but they make it. They're going to make a cross. Here comes the ball towards the far post, the header. It was a good one, but off target. So it's just the goal kick for Lakeland United. Let's go for the equalizer, says SFD Elusive. No, for el empate. One minute and a couple of seconds before the end of the third quarter. All the goals arrived here. Two goals from Paolo Gatto. Gave Lakeland United the lead. Jorge Corato back to draw Victor Quaglio. 
And now towards Quiller Breen. Quiller back to Joao. Joao with the clearance towards the midfield. The ball is lost. Recovered by Tiki Taka. Nogueira was able to touch the ball before it got to the player from Tiki Taka, but still, it's a throw in. It's a throw in for them. Last 30 seconds before the end of the third quarter. It's a good control by Tiki Taka trying to get across on the box. It's a good one. The shot is not good. Joao Vitor catches it. And before the third quarter can end, Legland may be able to create an opportunity. Paolo Gato fights for the ball. That's a foul from Paolo. Clear as day. And it could be a yellow card from Paolo. There's no need to do a foul like that. But here we continue. The pressure from behind. Leyland with the pressure attempting to recover, but they can do so. Back to the goalkeeper, Federico. Towards the midfield now. Good header. Lucas Adalto with the recovery. And now Nogueira. Victor Enrique Nogueira on a top spot. Leyland tries to go through. They were asking for an offside position. It's a ball for Tiki Taka. But the ref stops the match. The end of the third quarter has arrived. Well, after a great couple of minutes, the best in the minute so in the match so far, Legland United. Is winning 2-1 against Tiki Taka College Prep thanks to the goals of Paolo Gato, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we'd like to thank every single one of you. Please don't go because we still have 30 more minutes in between Legland United and Tiki Taka College. Tiki Taka College Prep could still make a comeback. Legland United is going to try to win the game to secure it. But please stay there. Thank you so much. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. The match hasn't ended. El partido no ha terminado. Tenemos 30 minutos más. Just in case. But thank you so much for being there on the other side. Supporting Legland, supporting Tiki Taka. Uh, without you, this wouldn't be possible. And of course, this wouldn't be possible without the lovely folks of Better Media. With the direction of Juliano Giorgi and the assistance of Heidi Molina. We're going to go on a little break until the players come back to the field. And well... After that, we're going to show you the last 30 minutes of the friendly match in between Lakeland United and Tiki Taka College. We'll be right back.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here at Feltrim Sports Complex in Haines City, Florida, ready to show you the last 30 minutes of this friendly match in between Lakeland United and Tiki Taka College Prep. Like we told you at the beginning, four quarters of 30 minutes each. We'll go until the 120 minutes, and then after that, of course, it's game over. So far, Lakeland United, two, Lakeland United is winning 2-1 against Tiki Taka College Prep thanks to the goals of Paolo Gatto. So let's wait and see what is in store for us in the last quarter of the game. Tiki Taka College Prep is going to be able to make a comeback or is Lakeland going to secure the victory in this friendly match? Well, we have to wait and see, but we're ready to do it. The ref blows his whistle and we are on last 30 minutes of the game here at Feltrum Sports Complex in Haines City. Legland fights to recover the ball in the midfield. Over the left side, there goes Nogueira, attempting to recover it, but they can't do so. Fortunately, Lucas Adalto is able to play back with Victor Nogueira. Victor Quaglio, Victor, Joao Victor Quaglio. Not Victor Nogueira, Victor Nogueira is over the left. He's wearing number 15. The header by the center back, and after that, Tavares with the header. Good pass by number 44, Maceda. Going back with Jorge Corato. In short now, with number 14, Tanaka. There's been some substitutions now. Coach Eric Leite allows some of the players that played in the first half to come back, like Tanaka and Maceda. An offside position, says the assistant referee. And so, it's going to be... A free kick for Tiki Taka. There goes the ball. There's no foul. The game continues. And here comes Tiki Taka for the equalizer. Over the left. There goes the cross. And Jorge Corato with the clearance. Avoiding the attack. There goes the throw in once again. Lakeland wants to stop the attack from Tiki Taka. Good dribbling skills. There's no foul. It's a clean recovery. Tavares, in short, good passes here by Lakeland, and an interesting opportunity, Battaglia, Jordan with the pass going forward, but there's nobody there, not at least from Lakeland, the goalkeeper, Federico, towards the center of the field, Tavares with the pressure, good dribbling skills, and here they come, Tanaka with the recovery, going back now with Jorge Corato and Quiller Brin. Back to Jorge Corato. Jorge Corato with number 29. And there goes the pass. Once again, the ball comes and goes. 
but still nobody wins it. The clearance by Tiki Taka. The control in the midfield, the passing short. Tabaris with the pressure, but still it's an easy catch for Jimenez. Here comes Tiki Taka. Once again, Moises Jimenez tries to recover the ball and Jorge Corato with the clearance. A foul from Jimenez, says the ref, and it's a free kick for Tiki Taka College Prep. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you so much. Obrigado. Muchas gracias for staying tuned in at Lakelands United YouTube channel. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. And here comes Tiki Taka trying to reach the equalizer with a free kick. Looking for a header. There goes the cross. It's a good one. Be careful with the rebound. They could shoot from there. The shot was really bad. Joe Victor Quaglio asks for a ball, and the game will resume shortly with a goal kick for Lakeland United. The Swans getting ready for the start of a brand new United Premier Soccer League season. Of course, as always, in the Florida West Conference. Joe Victor Quaglio plays with Pedro Corato. Jorge Corato. Jorge Corato. My bad. Tiki Taka with the recovery, the pass towards the left. There's opportunity, there's space. Pass. It's a goal kick once again for Joel Victor Quaglio and for Lakeland United. On the left side, Quiller Vrin. And there goes the ball. Vrin in short with Tanaka. Jorge. And Jorge back to the goalkeeper who sends the ball flying towards the midfield. The ball leaves the field. And it's a throw in for Tiki Taka. The team wearing black going towards the equalizer. Be careful with this situation. Tanaka with the recovery. Good call by the midfielder. The pass towards the right. And it's a long one for Paolo Gatto. Great pass from Paolo. And after that, Jordan Battaglia plays it towards the left. Nogueira with a good assist. Reaching number 44, Daniel Macedo. Daniel in short with Nogueira. Nogueira struggles, plays it back. Pataglia. And here comes number 14, Tanaka. Once again, Macedo looks for Bataglia the tackle by the center back. Be careful because here comes Macedo. It's going to be a ball for Legland. It should be for Legland. And it's going to be a throw in for the Swans, if I'm not mistaken. Five minutes of the last quarter. Legland United's winning the friendly match. 2-1 against Tiki Taka College Prep. Here comes the throw-in. Nogueira with Bataglia. They were asking for a handball from Jordan. The ref says it was a handball. It's a free kick for Tiki Taka. Long pass from Federico towards the midfield. Quiller Vrin fights for it. There's no foul. The game continues. And Tiki Taka goes for a long pass. Pedro Corato comes out and intervenes before Joao Victor Quaglio. Tiki Taka goes for the equalizer, fighting for it. But they struggle as well. And they need to regroup. Good passes. The defense of Lakeland stops the attack, thanks to Tavares. The pass going back from Macedo. Now going forward, Paolo Gatto with the header. Tavares with a really unorthodox way of giving a pass. And Federico with Trago sending the ball flying towards the midfield. It's a throw in for Tiki Taka. Since Tiki Taka scored that last goal, they've been motivated. They've been boosted up, and they are closer to the equalizer. And here comes a wonderful pass. One-on-one -on -one situation, and it's in. What a goal from Tiki Taka College Prep. They found the space once again over on the left side, and Tiki Taka and Lakeland are tying once again. Lakeland United 2, Tiki Taka College Prep 2. Like I told you, Tiki Taka was closer to the equalizer than Legland was, just scoring the third goal of the match. 
And now we're back to square one. Tied, but now with goals. Legland Chu, Tiki Taka Chu. And what's going to happen? Somebody's going to win. Would it be Legland? Or would Tiki Taka? Will Tiki Taka be able to make the comeback? We have 23 more minutes to know if it's either Lakeland or Tiki Taka. Throwing for the Swans, throwing for Lakeland, playing in short. Tanaka with Kuiler. And now Paolo Gato fights for the ball. Good opportunity for Legland, even though Paolo couldn't control it. At full speed, here comes Nogueira. Victor Enrique Nogueira opens the ball towards Macedo. It's a good opportunity. No, but Taglia was on an offside position. It's a free kick for Tiki Taka, while SFD Elusive says goal on the YouTube channel of Legland, celebrating the equalizer of Tiki Taka. Eight more minutes to go. Federico Vitrago putting the ball in its place. Ready to send the ball flying towards the midfield. Great control. And here comes Tiki Taka with another wonderful assist. Quiller de Brin needs to close it. The shot! Oh, so close. Tiki Taka is really close to scoring the third goal of the match for them. Tiki Taka is really close to making a comeback. Claro. SFD Elusive Saints están jugando cuatro cuartos de 30 minutos. Exactamente. That's what I've been saying this whole time. Tanaka playing back with Joe Victor Quaglio. Over the left, it's a good recovery by Tiki Taka. Let's see what they can do. It's a good pass. They shoot. The shot was not good. Joe Victor Quaglio. Once again, number 45, the goalkeeper. Great control by in Victor Enrique Nogueira. Victor Enrique Nogueira was pressured from behind. Lucas Dadalto with the recovery. And here comes Nogueira once again, number 15. Nogueira towards the center. Over the right side. Great interception by the center back. Tiki Taka wants to make the comeback. Tiki Taka wants to win it. Counter attack at full speed. Onside. Here comes the team wearing black with the opportunity to score. Victor Quaglio. Joe Victor Quaglio with the save. I mean, it could be another shot for Tiki Taka. Good dribbling skills. That's not a foul. And so, recovery for Lakeland. The pressure, the recovery by number 29 by Jimenez. There's no foul against Jimenez and the game continues. Vamos, Lake, says Cynthia Ferreira. Tiki Taka playing in short. Now going back with the goalkeeper. The pressure by Paolo Gatto. By all of Lakeland's players. Good header. There's no offside position. Onside. And here comes Paolo. Battaglia is near. Jordan. Battaglia needs to play it quickly. Paolo Gatto was close, but it was a good recovery by Tiki Taka. And here comes the team wearing black once again. The away team looking for the victory. Over the right side, trying to make a cross. Here comes Dadalto trying to stop him. Here comes one thing, great dribbling skills once again. But the ref says there was a foul from Lucas, and so it's a great. There goes the kick, and it's in. No, no, no. Yo, Victor Quaglio was right there to save Lakeland from the defeat. It was close, though, because it was a good situation once again tiki taka goes forward looking for the third goal tanaka is not able to stop the attack tiki taka, tiki taka opens it a bit too wide but they still are good and here they come over the right going for a cross here comes the ball be careful with their rebound they could shoot from there the ref saying the ball left the field. So it's a goal kick. Vamos, equipo. Luis Guevara, Venezuela y tu familia portándote. Hoy a ti, Alfonso. Dios te bendiga. We still have 19 minutes before the end of this friendly match in between Lakeland and Tiki Taka College Prep. It's been a thrilling match, especially in the second half of it. The second 60 minutes. 
Nogueira with the pass towards Bataglia. Jordan. Jordan over number 13. Here comes Gabriel Wemura who receives a foul. The ref says it was a clean recovery. And here comes Tiki Peca once again. No, they don't. Nogueira helping out, passing the ball back to draw Victor Quaglio towards the midfield once again. There is nobody there. The tackle. Tiki Taka sends the ball out of the field. Legland has a throw in. Desde Ecuador, tu tía te apoya, Luis Alfonso. That's a foul. The ref says it's not. Yes, it was. Legland United trying to reach the third goal and the goalkeeper yet again. All the goalkeepers have made keys saves for their team so far. That's why we're tied 2 2. Foul and a free kick for Legland. It is near the center of the field. Over the left side once more. Here comes Legland attempting to do a cross. The header and the save by the goalkeeper. An interesting attempt by Tavares. The control by Tiki Taka over the midfield and over the right side they go. Good opportunity yet again. And here comes Tiki Taka with the cross. The shot and it's in! The comeback has been made! Tiki Taka College Prep takes the lead, ladies and gentlemen. Wonderful play from right to left. Nobody was guarding him. And now Tiki Taka is winning 3-2 against Lakeland United. Oh. The problem here is that nobody was guarding him. Nobody was on the player. And a striker cannot be that free to do what he wants. From Venezuela, we support Luis Guevara and the team, says Lenis Mabel Castellanos. What a tough match for Lakeland it has been. They are down on the scoreboard after being on top by Chu. What they should do now. Playing it back. They can go through, but they persevere. Jordan Bataglia. Bataglia with the shot. The shot got blocked. He needs to play. Once again, good defense by Tiki Taka. And here they go for a counterattack. Trying to end the match. Recovery by Tanaka. Tanaka lost the ball. Good tackle. And once again, Lakeland attempts to reach the equalizer. Gabriel is not able to go forward. Recovery by Tiki Taka. And here comes two attackers against three defenders. Pedro Corat with the recovery and the pass towards the left. It's a bit too long. We still have 15 more minutes until the end of the game. 15 more minutes to see if Tiki Taka is able to win the match. Or if Legland is going to reach the equalizer or maybe even win it. Why not? Some substitutions have been made. And here comes number 14, Tanaka. That was a really long pass that ends up in the hands of the goalkeeper, Federico. Towards the midfield once more. The header, the recovery by Lakeland. Tanaka is not able to do anything with the ball, but he fights for it. And the ref says he made a foul. So it's a free kick for Tiki Taka. Remember to leave your like. Recuerden dejar su like en el video. Subscribe, suscríbanse. And help Lakeland grow. That's a really long pass. The header by Pedro Corato. And here comes Nogueira. Victor Enrique at full speed. It's difficult for Victor Enrique. He needs to play it back with somebody, anybody. Over the left we go. Interesting attempt. But 
Is Lakeland going to be able to do something with this ball? Good dribbling skills. By Jimenez who plays it back. It should be a throw in for Lakeland. Substitutions. The ref saying stop. We can continue if we're going to make substitutions. Substitutions with Tiki Taka. And there we go. The opportunity for Legland to go through. Tavares opens the ball towards number 13, Gabriel Wemura. Gabriel back to number 55, Jorge Corato. Cuiler Brin. Back to Jorge. 108 minutes. Good pressure by Tiki Taka. They can recover the ball. Ooh. And here comes at full speed number 44, Macedo. Daniel with the cross. There's nobody on the left. Bataglia makes it in time. No, he doesn't. It's a goal kick for Federico. It's a goal kick for Tiki Taka. Vamos, vamos, que tengo aquí en la pantalla grande todo el barrio echando porras al equipo. Tiki Taka. Mauricio desde Barcelona, Venezuela. The ball towards the midfield. The recovery by Legland. The Swans trying to reach the equalizer. Tiki Taka managed to go forward and at full speed. That's a foul. That's a foul and it should be a yellow card against number 44, Daniel Macedo. Yes, a yellow card for Daniel Macedo. After all, he's top of the attack. 11 more minutes. 11 more minutes and after that, we are done. Luis Guevara, tus tíos desde Chile apoyándote y al equipo. Mucha fe. The ref says that he stops the watch while the substitutions are being made. We still have 10 more minutes to go until the end of the friendly match. It's been an interesting match after the first hour. Paolo Gatto put Legland on the lead with two goals. After that, Tiki Taka was able to make the combat. Tiki Taka is now winning 3 2. Tavares arguing with the referee. And here comes the free kick for Tiki Taka. As soon as the ref allows the game to continue. Desde Acapulco, vamos Tiki Taka. Jaden Torres. Santi. Says Marta Hilbert. Ten more minutes to go. Lakeland United. Losing 3-2 against Tiki Taka College Prep. Well, now that the substitutions are done, Tiki Taka in charge of this free kick, in charge of this situation. If they manage to score, then it's a victory for them. The ref now arguing with the players in the box. Here comes the cross. The header by Tavares. Be careful. Let's see who wins it. It's going to be a throw-in for Tiki Taka. The assistant referee says it's not. It's just a throw-in for Legland. I was sure Tavares was the last one to touch the ball. Yeah, of course, it's a throw-in for Tiki Taka. A huge mistake from the assistant referee right there. There goes the cross, the header, and Victor Quaglio. Joao Victor Quaglio with the catch. Joao needs to play it quick. Last eight minutes of the game. Long ball towards Jimenez. And now Paolo Gatto, number nine, reaches for the ball in time. He can't pass the ball. 
Good pressure by Tiki Taka. The ball leaves the field, and it's going to be a ball for the away team. It's going to be a ball for Tiki Taka. They were asking for a handball. The ref says there wasn't one. And here comes Tiki Taka for the fourth one of the match. Joao Victor Quaglio. Joao Victor Quaglio lives Lakeland alive. What a save from the goalkeeper who came out and blocked the shot. Saved it for Lakeland. Unfortunately, Lakeland is not able to properly associate and go forward. They are losing just by one goal with seven minutes on the clock. This is a throw-in for Tiki Taka on a defensive position. That's why Lakeland puts so many men. Trying to recover it as soon as possible. The ball leaves the field. And so now it's a throw-in for Lakeland. There goes the throw-in. Attempting to go forward. That seemed like a foul from Jimenez. The rep says it wasn't. The clearance. Jorge Corato with the recovery. Good dribbling skills right here. Good passes. But Legland comes for Tavare. No, 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 ladies and gentlemen. It's an offside position. Tavares was so lonely. So the goal does not count after a great play right there. Offside position from Tavares. And the equalizer is no more. No, no, no. Six minutes on the clock. Legland United is losing 3-2 against Tiki Taka. There goes the throw-in. Tiki Taka trying to reach the fourth goal of the match, but they can do so. It's going to be a goal kick. A ball for Joao Victor Quaglio, who played a good game. He was the goalkeeper who received the three goals, but he didn't have any type of responsibility in any of them, and he made a couple of great saves for the team. Boa, the Cynthia Ferreira. It's a goal for Lakeland United. It's a free kick for them. There's no time to lose. Less than five minutes. And then it's game over. Trying to go forward. There's a lot of space over the left. But they can pull through. They can break through the defense of Tiki Taka. Quiller Breen reaches for the ball. After being pressured, he loses it. He wins it over and plays it back with Joao Victor Quaglio. There's no time to lose. Long ball. Looking for somebody, anybody. Nogueira goes, fights for it, looks for a teammate. And here comes Lakeland. No, they can't. They can go forward. Nogueira fights for it. And in the end... Once more, it's a ball for the Swans as they try to reach the equalizer before the end of the regular time. This friendly match is reaching its end. We only have four more minutes, less than four minutes, three minutes, 30 seconds. And Paolo Gatto wins his hat trick. Here comes the cross. The header didn't arrive. The finishing touch was not good. And the counter-attack opportunity for Tiki Taka is stopped by the Dalto. Recovery with a foul. The ref says it was a foul against Lucas Dalto. The game was stopped. And now Lakeland lost the ball. They gifted the ball back to Tiki Taka. And they can win the match right here on this one. Here comes Joao Victor Quaglio. He loses it. And it's over the line. Lakeland United is still alive on the match. What a save right here, right now. Draw Victor Quaglio at first. And after that, if I'm not mistaken, Lucas Dadalto, who stopped the 
ball right there on the line. Lakeland United is still alive. Only one goal down. And here comes once again Tiki Taka with Joao Victor Quaglio going down and grabbing the ball. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Not much time in the clock. Paolo Gatto trying to play it with Jimenez, but Tiki Taka recovers it. Nogueira. Nogueira goes forward. They are asking for a foul. The ref says, no, it's just the throwing for Tiki Taka. There goes the throwing. Uh, here comes Tiki Taka. They were able to make a comeback in the last quarter of the match. They were 2 1 down. And now they are 3 2 on top. The catch by Federico Witrago, the goalkeeper. And the clock keeps ticking. Less than two minutes, and it's game over. Vamos, Paolo activando. This is Luis Guevara. Throw in. For Lakeland. Good pass is right here. Going forward now. The pressure. And a foul from Tiki Taka. With enthusiasm. With attitude. Lakeland is pushing. Lakeland is rushing the equalizer. There's no time left. One minute. This could be the last play of the game. If Legland doesn't take advantage of it, then maybe it's going to be a loss for them in this friendly match. And here comes the cross, looking for a header over the far post, and it's going to be a goal kick. It's going to be a ball for Federico. It's going to be a ball for Tiki Taka. It's going to be a ball for the away team, who today played a great match. There was a comment earlier in the match who labeled Tiki Taka as impressive high schoolers and they are really going for it! An amazing save by Federico Huitrago! Victor Enrique Nogueira almost reached the equalizer. The goalkeeper Federico has just made one, if not the best, save of the match. The value that it has. And we're already playing injury time. The last play of the game is this one. Right here, right now. It's either a victory for Tiki Taka or the equalizer for Legland. And here comes the cross and the save by Federico. It was a great match, ladies and gentlemen, but that was the final whistle. Right here at Feltrim Sports Complex in Haines City, Florida. Tiki Taka College Prep has defeated Lakeland United 3-2 in a really thrilling and amazing match. Especially in the second half, in the last 60 minutes. And as we watch the five goals of the match... Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, thank you so much for being there on the other side until the very end of the game. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. And of course, it wouldn't be possible without the lovely folks of Better Media, without Juliana Giorgi, without Heidi Molina. This broadcast wouldn't be possible. So, let's start saying our goodbyes. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this was just a friendly match. Remember that Lakeland United will be making their debut on the United Premier Soccer League for the West Conference on April the 27th, right here, hopefully, against Naples City. And, well, until then, this has been all, folks. Right here, right now, Feltrim Sports Complex in Haines City, Florida. Lake Lane United has lost 3-2 against Tiki Taka College. But remember, still a long way ahead. Seven more friendly matches to go for Lakeland. A lot to see, a lot to improve, and a lot to raise our hopes in hopes of a great season for the Swans. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much and have a lovely night. Bye-bye.